Welcome to another edition of Electric TV, your online source for electrical construction news, information, and entertainment. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. From hospitals to high rises, hospitality and leisure, or any other type of construction, the NECA IBEW team installs and maintains the complex systems that makes our world connect. But what about at the source of that power, at the power plant? Does construction's finest labor management team ensure reliable power delivery for, not just in, our cities and towns? You bet. Like in northwestern Arkansas, for example, a place where the newest NECA IBEW power project, done under the code of excellence, is just about to come online. American Electric Power's Flint Creek Power Plant, just outside of Bentonville, Arkansas, made its first watt in 1978 and has been in operation ever since. But to comply with new, stringent EPA regulations, stacks of work, no pun intended, needed to be done to get new environmental controls up and running on this coal-fired work of art. Naturally, Nika and the IBEW believed they were the right choice for the job. So much so, they flat out called and asked for the work. I'm Tom Householder, the Managing Director of Labor Relations for American Electric Power. Before the project started, our CEO got a call from then General President of the IBEW, Ed Hill. And he said, Mr. Akins, we have a great talented workforce with the IBEW. We'd like to do your project down at Flint Creek. And after they talked for a few minutes, they decided it was best for this to be a union project. I'm Cindy Estes, and I'm the executive director of the Arkansas Chapter NECA. This project is very important um, to display the um, unity and partnership of IBEW NECA, to display how successful it can be to advance a project timely and with the highest level of skills. Using all of the, the code of excellence protocols, and we've made a complete success out of this job. It's been safe, it's been on schedule, the quality has been outstanding, and we're within budget. And that's the definition of a successful project. As mentioned, the ace in the hole for NECA in the IBEW is a return to common sense approach to the craft, namely, the code of excellence. It's a formal agreement between labor and the contractor in which both sides agree to hold up their own end of the bargain in the name of cooperation and success. Workers show up on time, ready to work at the start of the day. And the contractor agrees to have the proper materials lined up and ready to go as well. Breaks are kept to their allotted times. They work eight hours a day for eight hours pay and pledge to never deviate from beginning to end. There's more, but you get the idea. My name is Rick Knoll. I'm electrical superintendent for Paincrest Electric. Local 700 was a crucial partner with Paincrest Electric on this job site. Um, they not only preached the code of excellence, they helped enforce the code of excellence. With all that in mind, here are the details of the project. It's a $408 million job where a dry flue gas scrubber and a jet fabric filter are being installed. Simply put, these components will reduce emissions into the atmosphere, comply with government regulations, and perhaps most importantly, allow the plant to be more environmentally friendly. NECA contractor Paincrest Electric and IBEW Local 700 have completed nearly 200,000 hours of work to this point. Installed 12,000 feet of cable tray, bent 90,000 feet of conduits, and pulled a staggering 1.3 million feet of cable. The facility, once back online after construction, will supply power to 524,000 customers in the region. My name is Herb Nance. I'm the AEP, site construction manager here on this project. To walk through and look at a project and see the quality without us having to point out uh, things that we would like to see done a little better. We've not experienced that here. So, you know, I do constant walk downs on the job. Uh, of course, uh, Paincrest Electric has done an excellent job here representing the IBEW. Uh, we've not had any issues at all. Their safety here has been excellent. We've, uh, Paincrest has had no recordable uh, accidents. 
and uh, that is key to us. Eugene Wilson, business manager, local 700, Fort Smith, Arkansas. At our peak level, we got up to 161 members on this project. We're down to probably 70 at this time. We'll probably finish out the job around 70 members. Chris Garofalo, I'm a project executive at Paincrest Electric. Everybody on the project site has bought in to the same agenda and everybody's out here to do a good job for both the union, the contractor, and the customer. And that's important to us. That means that when we get the guys from the hall, we understand that they know what's expected of them and we're all pulling in the same direction with the same agenda. My name is Mark Zorns. I'm a journeyman wireman for Local 700 out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. It's all about helping each other, you know what I mean? If, and I, I've noticed a lot that I hadn't seen in a lot of other places is they do, they'll say, they'll see if you need a hand. If they see you struggling, you know, a lot of places you're not working with them, you just walk by. But out here, it doesn't matter, that's your brother. And everybody says brother, you know, everybody calls you, hey brother, and it is, it's a lot. There's a brotherhood, there is a brotherhood there. I'm John Mitchell, local 700, I'm a journeyman wireman. As a union, you're gonna have people that take pride in what they do. Uh, they wanna do it to the best of their ability. And if they see something that's wrong, they'll, they'll let you know that it's wrong. Uh, they want to make it beneficial for you as a, as a customer. They want it to be better for you. Uh, they want to make your uh, installation one that is wonderful. The Code of Excellence has been in effect for several years, and it's worked very well. In conversations with General President Stevenson, he expects the Code of Excellence to continue on, and that's a great thing for all of us owners who have counted on the Code of Excellence to help make our projects great for the future as well as those in the past. Jobs being done under the Code of Excellence, like this one, aren't lip service anymore, but rather the Code has become a critical component of each hour of each day. Case in point, AEP Flint Creek. That's all for this edition. Thanks for your time today. And remember that no matter where power is generated, distributed, or consumed, chances are Nika and the IBEW are behind the operation with an on-time schedule and an on-budget delivery. Be sure to check out ETV on Facebook and on Twitter for behind-the-scenes extras and industry information. I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time.